What's up everybody? I've been doing a lot of updates on the greenhouse today, or recently, so I thought I'd do an update on the hugoculture beds. Um, as you can see, now if you don't know what hugoculture is, it's essentially where you bury, a lot of people use the logs like in a mound, and then that's the old school way, and they put an old, a fresh cut log in, and they mound it, and they plant on top of the mound. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I actually didn't try that method. I tried uh, wood chips in a container and that were kind of already breaking down and the plant simply wouldn't grow. And I think it was a combination of things. With the wood you get, the, the bacteria basically eats on that wood as it decomposes and it locks out your nitrogen in the soil. And I also think with the wood chip thing, I was definitely retaining too much water. It wasn't fluffy enough. So last year we tried something new in a couple of my beds. And what we did is I saved the sunflower stalks and a couple other things like some tomato stalks and whatever from the season before. And when I put these beds in, I actually backfilled it with the stalks and then I put the dirt on top. Now, as you can see, they grew plants in it this first season. And I'll tell you what, it was amazing. I had pepper plants and this right here, I'm not kidding, that were probably five or six feet tall. I've never seen anything like it. And they were like hopping arrows. They weren't even supposed to get that big. It was insane the amount of growth I had on everything in these beds. But as you can see, as the winter went on, everything settled. Uh, you know, we lost a good probably six inches in the bed, which is fine. I'm getting ready to move these. But it just goes to show the decomposition process was is definitely still going on down in there. And, you know, everything's breaking down fantastic. And I'm not sure if you think, it seems like the sunflower stalks and stuff that's more, I guess, organic material versus wood that breaks down quicker is probably going to be a better option for this. Plus as well, just like me, I don't want to go buy a bunch of dirt to fill some beds. And I can't be digging holes in my yard, stealing dirt, you know. Stealing from Peter to feed Paul, essentially. So it actually does help to raise my soil level in my boxes and provides organic material. Now, as you can see, I kind of dug into them today and basically everything is gone. And all this is now is just good black earth. I mean, it's still got some, you know, some chips and stuff or whatnot, but boy, it actually turned out fantastic. So these are actually getting ready to get moved. But I think this year what I did is I, I did go ahead and don't mind my yard is I saved a bunch of my stuff for when I ripped the garden out. So when we put in the new planter boxes, this is all gonna be backfill. So I'll backfill my boxes in with this pile of organic material, which I'm really looking forward to. That's quite a bit, you know? It'll save me on soil costs as well. So yeah, we'll step into the greenhouse. It's definitely windy today out here in Iowa. Got a, I have been working on the system. Ooh, it's nice and warm in here. It is. 75 degrees in here right now. Super nice. The hydroponic system's coming together. I'm waiting on a water pump. And then I gotta redo the plumbing. Also, I'm gonna I'm sealing these up as we speak. I'll finish doing this with silicone. And then that'll be the rail. So yeah, I'm not sure if people really know what, how the system's supposed to work. Basically, you have a water line that comes up from the reservoir. That's where the water will be. It's a recirculating loop system. Hear that wind? And it's windy holding up good though this greenhouse i'll tell you what sounds like that Ooh, ooh doggy run that down all right so it'll come up from a, a system or a half inch pipeline submersible pump that'll be water reservoir will come up and there'll be a quarter inch line on each one of these to fill the channel it'll run down create a film on the bottom of the run and the cup sits in and then there's a spillway on each rail which the plumbing is here I don't know if you saw it last time I did it. Essentially, boop, boop. And then it all spills back down on each one and goes, then I'll put a channel tube here that I'll spill back into the reservoir. So we're probably gonna end up burying that reservoir as well once it uh, gets hot. Roots do like, I don't want the water temperatures to get too hot because we'll have problems with root rot, stuff like that with the hydroponic system. So we're gonna actually be finishing that up today. Uh, the main hard part and I'm actually thinking about moving it. I'm noticing I'm getting a lot of sun right here on the side of the greenhouse. Kind of my workstation over here. I think I'm actually going to put this over here. It'll get less sun. And for the leafy greens, I just they, they won't be able to handle the full sun and as we get into the later months of you know summer and etc. So, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take one more look at this Hugo Culture bed and just see what is going on here. Pretty happy with it, but I can't get over the amount of settlement it, that it's definitely settled as a ton. It's fantastic. So it's Sunday. 
no football on today. So we're gonna have a little, little Bud Light, do a little gardening. Mm. One for my dead homies, my dead tomatoes, who got beating, beating good on them all year. Anyways, have a great Sunday and enjoy it out there. It's pretty nice. Later.